Certainly a rough one today in the wind department. Some areas blowing dust and sand, especially, you know, if you're in some of the construction areas. The winds are going to gradually come down, and I have to emphasize, gradually will be weakening. Now, the cold air continues to be in place, so you combine the winds and uh, the temperatures, and it will make it feel colder. So many of you, if you're going to be heading out tonight, certainly grab the light coats. 33 is the wind gust. This is officially out at the airport. 29 for you folks in the Las Cruces area. Notice 28 out there in Deming. The peak wind gust that we had today, if you look at our neighborhood weather net site, sponsored by Mattress Firm, look at Powell at 53. Texas Tech uh, right in the downtown area, just shy of 40 miles an hour. And those temperatures, they're coming down. We have 60s across town, 61 in Las Cruces, 61 in Deming, up there along the area lakes. Truth of consequences at 63. Already down the 40s up at the Sacramento Mountains. We're 64 again at the airport. And your planner for tonight, 7 o'clock. Sky's going to be clear. And as I mentioned, the winds will continue to gradually weaken. 58 at 7 o'clock by 11 o'clock will be at 51. We're going to start off a little chilly tomorrow morning. All right, so the next couple of days will be in that breezy category with gusts to 25. Then we pick it up a little bit on Friday. Gusts will hit 30 as the cold front moves in here from the northeast and then have another front Sunday. We'll be looking at those gusts at about 35 miles per hour. Right here's our regional map and you can see we're going to be dealing with nothing but clear skies for the rest of tonight and throughout the day for tomorrow. So a lot of sunshine tomorrow. If you're going to be out in the sunshine, certainly going to feel very nice for you. Here comes our next cold front going to be pushing in here late Thanksgiving night into Friday morning. That will cause the winds to pick up. We're going to see a little added, added clouds in the forecast, certainly by late Thursday and into Friday. And we're also going to be dealing with some cooler temperatures once we head into Friday and the upcoming weekend. So last year we were at 50. We've been talking about this over the past couple of weeks. 71. Still what I anticipate for your Thanksgiving day. All right, check out the overnight low temperatures across town for tomorrow morning. We have 40 in Socorro. Fabian's at 37, but I, like I mentioned, we'll have the wind, so that'll make it feel a little bit colder yet for the rest of tonight. Tomorrow, we'll be anticipating temperatures in the mid and upper 60s. Lots of sun tomorrow. Overnight lows in Doniana County, La Union at 35. Notice Messia. And uh, La Mesa going to be right around 32 and Chaparral at 36 degrees. Your high temps tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, going to be in the mid and upper 60s. Here's how it looks overnight tonight. We'll drop it down to 40. Again, those winds will continue to weaken. Sunset time at 502 for tomorrow. 68 degrees. We'll have mainly sunny skies. But uh, again, those temperatures uh, just running still, that 68 going to be above average for this time of year. 33 overnight in Las Cruces, your high will be at 65 degrees. Watch over the next several days. We go 71 Thanksgiving Day, 62 on Black Friday. Uh, the winds will be up, but again, nothing extreme. We're looking at right around 30 miles an hour. Then we bring in that colder air, 50s for the upcoming weekend. Winds pick up on Sunday, and we should be hanging right around 60 degrees by early next week, Mark. Okay, Doppler 3.